Okay, so we're going to run through some ideas of applications in TamToy and different things you can do with it and different things you can play around with it. Remember, these are just ideas. There's loads of ways you can use TamToy. Originally, it's supposedly based on the Quran and the way different characters in the Quran can be put together uh, to make different meanings. And so that, that really integrates into this. You can put every posture together, every shape together, every line together, and you'll find new meanings within it. It's not so much the, the physical application of the arm, so much as the flow of the body, ultimately, um, that we're trying to look at and investigate. So we're only going to look at a few ideas. Um, there's a lot more to uncover in, in TamToy, there really is. But hopefully it'll give you some, some ideas about the, um, the depth of the practice. So I'm going to use Pete for these applications if you don't mind coming on, Pete. Um, the first one, the salute. Here, here, here. So what I'm doing is, supposing my opponent is facing me, um, and let, let's say I want to initiate, for whatever reason, the, the, the fight, and he's got a guard up or something, okay? We'll look at it this way first, and then we'll, we'll look into it in more depth. Now, if I, step, if, I, if I try and hit him here, one, his reach is about like mine, so I can't really reach him. If I step straight forward, of course, now I'm equally in danger, so I don't want to play that game. If I step out straight away, my hand can hit him, okay? Now, he may well be clever enough to block this. It doesn't take a great genius, yeah? But at this point in the form, I continue the turn. So I'm passing, my arc is trying to pass his guard. So if I come here, I can take through the, the, the face, can take his face, okay? So here, I can always put an extra little hand in if I feel it's useful, here. I can use a hammer fist to unhinge his jaw. I can take the back of his head if I'm lucky enough. If I put it onto more of a circle, because we train the linear path, but you may well use a more bagware-esque circle for this, then it's even more effective. Now, if he's clever and, he's, um, and he switches guard or he presses in on me, oh, yeah? Now, I've still got the ability at this point to move because I've off angled, yeah? So here, here. Now, if he pushes against me and I don't think I've got the power, I've got this arm coming in and punching. This can also go to take the opposite arm. I can reach right across. So here, I'm, I'm entering here, and then this one can come down, take the arm maybe, push in, and now I can take his head. Now, another way of just using this part is I can access from, from a strike, I'm straight into his opposite shoulder. Now, you might think that's daft, because why not hit him in the face? Yeah, in, in this application where he's being a good student, a good friend, yeah, and he's holding his arm out kindly so I can hit him, it looks a lot better if I hit him in the face straight away, yeah? But no one does that. When he throws a jab punch, I want to stop him on this shoulder. Because if he throws a jab punch and I'm just coming to the face, and he throws the punch, then we're both going to get hit. And it's hard for me to block that. But if I cross his body here, now, if he's not throwing that punch, which most people will be doing, I, I, I've still got him off balance on the next move. I can come into his neck. I can come into his face. I can do a throw. So I've got control of his, his body at this point. So that's really what I'm aiming to do. So if the jab punch comes, I'm in. OK? Now, if you look at Tamtoy, this move, some versions of Tamtoy call this line, catch the tiger's head. That refers, one, to self-cultivation, the tiger being the base of instincts. So it's referring to sort of a Buddhist ideal. But it's also simply referring to your opponent being the tiger. You want to catch his head, yeah? So as I come in here, one, this can come round, and I've got a headlock, OK? This headlock, I can come in, just twist in. I can take it across the face, which is more traditional Chinese headlock. Now from here, what do I do next in the first line? But fling my arm. Oh, nasty, yeah? And the punch comes in. So it could be that. If I'm doing this salute, okay, then at this point when I've crossed him, this salute can come in. And I can throw him because I've got this turn. So again, it's the small circle that makes the application work. Um, so we're always playing with distance and angles in this style. So when I look at this alternate entry as well, Supposing Pete um, is clinching me behind the neck, you know, as happens a lot, yeah? This arm can sit on here. This one can raise with a circle. 
it won't work if I just push against his arm, he's strong, yeah? But if I spiral my arm, he starts moving. And again, I have the application of the throw. So this works this way. The other thing I can do with this one, apart from obviously being a knee, which, whilst obvious, a lot of people who practice tam toy never train a knee. You have to get a pad, kick it a lot. Have someone hold the pad down, clinch the neck, kick them back and forwards along the, road, um, along the school. That's how you learn, okay? Don't just do it like this and think you can use a knee. So another application though, um, is if we're, if we're in a sparring situation, I want to attract him upwards so that his, um, his intent is backwards, okay? So in other words, he's a bit worried about this, yeah? So as I come here, if he's stupid enough not to do anything, I'll hit him, yeah? But here, now this leg can hook. That's why I'm touching my own leg. And so from that point, I've got a throw or a whole variety of other nasty options that I can do. So another thing I can do is, let's say I'm doing it this way, just to, so we can see it a bit better. Here, if we're doing the first line, then this can come horse stance back, but this can also, on the inside, when this has come here, first line of tam toy, here, I'm spreading him wide open, okay? From here, I have a hook. So, a hook punch. Same hook punch here, take in, come out, here, yeah? So as the punch comes, one. So I've got this hook in. I'm keeping his elbow maintained, because if he's clever, he'll barge me with his elbow. So I'm keeping my elbow, controlling his elbow. This one's coming here. So it can take his face. Now what happens if he stops it? Here. Groin hit, okay? This one's coming up. So we can always use that. I can do it under, one. And then this one's coming here again, into the chest. Here. And then I can come back in again. Throw the neck. If you throw the neck 45 degrees upwards, it'll really damage it. So there's some applications to play with for the salute and the first line. Um, I mean, there's the countless others. This can be an elbow, of course, before I come here. Um, this one in itself can be an arm break. So if a punch comes, I've got this one here. Or if that one comes, I've got this one, okay? And then what do I do? But throw it and hit again. So if we look at the, the seeds contained within that first line and that salute, you've already got quite a formidable array of little weapons that are entrained in the form, so long as you keep an open mind. Uh, as we work through the roads, remember, every movement works with every other movement. 